Hey everyone, in this video we will learn how to explore uh, or create a Power BI report in Jupyter Notebooks. So I'm using Visual Studio Code and I've got the Jupyter Note plugin. So in a way I'm creating my Power report, BI reports in Visual Studio Code. Uh, so let's start. I'll just open this. And uh, this is just the set of code. I'll take you through this. But uh, just before that, there is a recent uh, Create Power BI reports in Jupyter Notebooks, which is a very interesting feature. Uh, have a go through this. I'll leave a link to this in the video notes. And also you will need to install this Power BI client before you can run the code. So please make sure that you run this client before you run the code. And you can go through this repository with the code examples if you want to explore this further. I definitely recommend going through this one as well. So let's start. So just before we start, I'll again say that I've uh, imported, I've run the Power BI client using the pip that we mentioned before. So let's start. So here I'm all I'm doing is I'm importing the relevant libraries, which is the first step. So I hit shift enter and um, you can get them from, so I'll uh, leave, uh, I'll upload this on this Jupyter notebook onto uh, GitHub as well. So you can play with it. And I'll also upload the data set that I'm using. So I import the libraries and then I need to authenticate. So this is an important step and I can't run the Power BI client and render reports in Jupyter Notebooks if I don't run this step. So I hit shift enter again and it gives me this URL and gives me a code to authenticate off. So I, I click this and open the web browser for me. And in the meantime, I'll just go and copy this code. And I'll put the code here and I'll hit next. And then I'll need to authenticate using my um, Power BI account, which I will do. So once I've done that, it will uh, ask. So I normally use Authenticator to authenticate. So I'll just approve the request. And once I've approved the request, it tells me that, um, so let's just continue. And it tell me to close the browser. So it says that you authenticated, you can um, close the browser. So I close the browser now and I've authenticated myself. So now I'm going to, I've got this file country population by year. So I'll import this and I'll just take a sneak peek of this. So let's just hit enter. So you can see it is showing me uh, the country and their population in different years. So I've, I've basically created a data frame and then I'll call Power BI Visualize. So I'll use Quick Visualize. I'll pass the data frame. And I'll also pass the authentication that I've done here. So I hit Shift Enter now. And I've got this object Power BI Visualize, which I, now I can use to visualize. So I hit Shift Enter and it automatically creates a quick report for me. So it will run through the existing data set and will create a report for me. So let me just quickly scroll down a bit. So you can see I can pre-select the data as well or I can say, hey, just use these specific elements in my data frame. Also, because I'm using uh, pandas, I could remove some uh, columns. I, I could do some transforms before I reach this step. And you can see it is showing me, so it's showing some of 99. So this header, you can obviously go and edit, but it's saying that you the population of US was in, 1999, it was 270, 279040. So let's just go up a bit. And you can see, so for 1999, the US population was this. So, so this is what it is showing me. And similarly for 2008, the US population was this. So it's just showing me some visuals I can get started with. I can also use this as a starting point. So I can save this file and use it as a starting point to build other visuals. And then it's showing me the total population of the world by different years. So it's just a quick starting point for us. And uh, I think so just wanted to take you through this in this specific um, uh, video, how to uh, create a Power BI report in Jupyter Notebooks, in this case, specifically Visual Studio Code. So I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Uh, let me know if you would like me to take any specific topics. Cheers. Bye.